Welcome to another epic tutorial for me. So today we're just gonna do uh, effects I personally call loop doors. So without wasting time, please do subscribe if you're new to this channel. Give a thumbs up and comment what you think. And that's that's everything I wanna say. Anyway, let's uh, get right into it. So this video is a breakdown and tutorial on how you can. Um, do an infinite door effect that's what I call it um, and clone yourself so mainly this uh, I posted this on my Instagram like usually this is for my Instagram uh, I posted this and I didn't do a tutorial on it and people voted that I do it so I decided to go ahead and do it and the, the, the link for this will be on the description below if you want to watch it and i will just explain to you i didn't want to start like from scratch scratch so i just placed everything uh, already on each other like where it's supposed to be but not exactly but just where it's supposed to be but i will explain to you as we go into detail like i took the plain background like where nobody's moving and i suggest that you avoid shadows like i i did like i uh, like it's i forgot to remove it so the second footage is my first act where i come out of the first door go to the second door and from there that's where the first scene ends i don't include this part where i'm walking to the tripod i shot myself anyway because i have to run back and forth there was no one to actually shoot me there usually is no one to shoot me so i usually shoot myself um we can trim it but for now let me just leave it because it's gonna be of you that that part is gonna be of use at some point now we go to the third footage where i do my second act so let's just all right yeah yeah anyway this doesn't really make sense as of now but it's gonna make a lot more sense like because i know it's just cutting in between it doesn't look nice it doesn't look fancy but it's gonna look better so it's over every video is overlapping this is why we're gonna use masking to make it make it blend in make it look smooth and you can change colors of the the time footage on the timeline to differentiate between your footages and everything like that but i just i i, I knew my footages anyway i usually remember the numbers so i usually just work with it so that's the fourth footage and we will have to go to our last one where I come out from my main door so this is pretty much how the layout is now we just have to start masking and we're gonna use some primary key to this effect which is masking like I've been saying masking masking and today it's not just gonna be like masking as the regular masking like i did on my shopping bag video tutorial where i just masked but this we're not gonna dive a little bit deeper with keyframes we're gonna dive a little bit deeper with keyframes so keyframes are just like let me show you it's like um it's basically that you have the, you have your starting point and destination point so we just put a keyframe there then move this on after seconds later from your first keyframe so you see it moves from one point to the other so you don't have to move it by yourself or keep cutting to move it to another end and this is like the basics of keyframe uh, literally and it's not it's nothing really difficult but if you want uh, deeper lessons on keyframes you should comment below and tell me so let's start with cutting we're not gonna cut a uh, mask out our first footage because we don't have anything beneath it to show or our second so we're gonna start masking from the third footage from where right where we we, we need it so we have to check well 
where the, our action starts so we cannot mask out the action just select and you just draw like we call this garbage bag and editing because it's that it's not like uh, it's not we're not following any movement but here we're not really following any movement, although we are gonna use keyframes so just align your footage so yeah like you're seeing so you can really sell it out because like this is like okay this guy went out then the other guy came in that like, doesn't it doesn't look cool but now if that guy is going going out um I'm the other guy I'm all the guys in there I'm going in and I'm going out at the same time that's that looks cool so we just have to align it properly no you have to we don't want to move this thing so yeah we have to press on this and select so you can move well but if we we just increase it without actually masking look it's cutting out our first footage when we come out it's overlapping it so what we do is we set a keyframe this is where keyframes come very uh, in handy this way they're very important so let's just let's just watch and do exactly the same way I'm doing it from here when you see he is about to I'm about to my, my first widget is about to come near the near the say the, the the keyframe shape then my mask shape sorry we move it to the left then from here you have to be careful now when with this door we have to also now mask so it can help the mo the our motion here so that's what I'm saying masking is very important in this video now you, you, you have to you'll achieve this like with masking but way better but if you had to use a green screen like in the whole place you would also really uh, like it would be way easier and I just got a new got a new green green screen so which is better I haven't tested it out yet but I will then try out some new things so keyframes are very helpful in many cases you you really have to get familiar with keyframes especially if you want to do animation and uh, uh, video manipulation because in VFX it's always about uh, manipulation so you have to trick the eye and to trick the eye keyframe uh, masking comes in handy and that um, that ugly transition that you see we're gonna take care of it later in the video so let's go to our I think fourth if I'm not mistaken footage yeah, fourth. so we also mask so we just basically do the same tricks and you have to understand which goes away and for which footage so if you you hear you 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 don't have the you don't get the right point your your your, your footage is still gonna look bad so you have to understand where you're gonna start where you're gonna start showing to mask it because you can mask on the left when your character is coming off from the right and always select the footage you are masking out or else if you just select the pen tool the max tool is just gonna create a shape layer so we it's it's not difficult this is just you know more most mostly about brain power creativity how well you can use the smallest things because this is basically the same trick I used on the other video and it's also the same trick I used on my very first Instagram video that I posted on the first first of January where how my wings were flying out and if you want to check it just head on my Instagram then you'll see it so now let's also mask here so it can blend and don't forget feather is very important like to blend feathers help blend the video so when you see it's nearly close you just now mask again we don't want the thing to move we have to select the masks too then after they select the footage move then it creates keyframes so you can do keyframes like on the same spot so you have to move either frames ahead or seconds up ahead 
and from here because I knew I was gonna move my hand so I had to already push it and push it all way way back so I can like everything can be taken care of like that if we we had to play this whole video back you would see that uh, it's already coming up and I think this is actually way better than I did it myself because when I was doing it, it was my first time I just learned about some few tricks and I was trying it out and I took hours and hours doing it so hopefully this is a better way for you to learn how to do this and do it better and faster than I did like uh, don't forget also like I said always play, uh, match the see your scenes because you we can we can let this g the one of my footage to already go out without the other one coming in that's the whole point of the footage is that there needs to be action that be this one is coming in this one is coming out so people get so you can the effect can actually be sold and there was like lighting difference with my footage and many things you know but I was just trying it out I was just trying it out I was trying it out See. Well, yeah, it's 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 looking it's looking bright now, and nope, look at look at uh, that mask. Now again, keyframes will be very important here. These keyframes, you see, keyframes are very helpful. They're lifesavers, you know. Yes, green screens are there, but there's some things that you just need keyframes, and green screens cannot can just not do. Like you just need keyframes whether you have a green screen or not whether you have a green screen whether you have uh, whatever that you, you use to to cut your footages the green uh, masking will always be needed i hated masking at first until i realized how powerful it is so i may have made a mission for it to become my friend and let's fix that and we just have to keyframes time timely know where everything needs to go because if we leave it there where it was first before I moved it, it was just gonna make the the scene look bad. It's gonna make it's gonna eat up the footage, the other footage. So it's just gonna look messy and very noticeable. It's right. It's best to make mistakes that are very unnoticeable unless someone another editor to look at it and spot it. But to a normal person, some mistakes just will never they will just never notice mistakes. So let's play it and see. I look so far yeah I'm playing it on the third resolution so the render can be faster um, don't mind the, the look let's see it's, it's coming up well it's coming up well and you can see that ugly transition it's very slow looks like a grandpa crossing the road uh, let's we, we fix that we'll fix that it's not a problem but okay and to fix this it's pretty easy we just have to uh, go to feather because feather like I told you it blends the images uh, the like the images the footage and the fact that you see like that that means my my my, my feather level is, is probably very low like if I'm not mistaken like less than 20 right now and it's not it's not a good look and I think I'm working on the wrong footage oh my bad let me just okay let's just undo all that control Z or control Z uh, yeah. uh, okay right footage now okay now we increase it so yeah 100 like I usually do 100 if I really want to blend it sometimes I would go overboard but it really depends on your footage and you have to put these numbers according to according to how it looks and this is not necessary this is just for fixing if your footage is doing this but if your video is not doing this don't bother fixing it if it looks fine don't need, you don't need to check the uh, follow these steps I, I just messed up so I'm paying for my mistakes that's why I'm fixing it so you just have to continue and probably you are probably done if you already followed all the steps you have probably done but these mistakes are helpful because many people can 
to make the same mistakes and this is what I if me showing uh, showing them is helpful and this glitch that happens like on the door can you see it we want to fix that but how should we fix it no now what we do is we let's duplicate this footage we will duplicate it real real quick then when we duplicate we use the second the free the frame will be needed to create a um, freeze frame so, uh, freeze frame then enlarge it so it looks it's a still freeze frame is a still picture of your motion photo your motion visuals so it blends in way better now and I don't know I think my recorder uh, had a problem issue with it so it's it cut out the, that footage the, 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 the end, end part of the screen but I spoke about some freeze frame uh, spoke about some freeze frame on my last video and I will upload um, a freeze frame effect and tutorial soon so just stay tuned to see where, how freeze frames can really help or how far you can really take it Sometimes you can even trick people into thinking that, into thinking that you used uh, some 3D stuff. Okay, so, I think this is actually starting to look bright. Everything blended in way better than the first time I did it. So, this, this, yeah, this is actually very, very interesting. The way everything came up and everything looked, you know. But if you're enjoying this video so far, please click the like button, subscribe if you haven't, follow me on social media for my short VFX videos, and leave a comment on what you think. So this is yeah, this is it, this is it. I will just fix. We just have to sort of fix. But like, if you want to fix that, this. You just have to also really the problem with this glitch is that my footage they were not exactly the same because I kept moving back and forth uh, pressing the camera record and so I would move the position because I film myself but if you, 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 you you're you're shooting yourself and it's not it's uh, the, your, your cameras are moving everything is the same the, the background all the footage is aligned the same way you will not have any of this problem so you just have to make sure that when you're shooting, nothing is moving on the screen. Now no, your cameras are moving, no one is moving it, and there's no shadow, and you will have it, the perfect, perfect motion, perfect playback, without having to do any of this. So this video was pretty much me suffering from my mistakes, and this is the color grade, and I have to work on my illumination. I was given great advice by this other editor that I should work on my illumination because it's too bright in the middle and this is color grade. So if you want some color grading um, tips, I'm not a pro, I'm, I'm like, I'm still, I think even beneath a beginner, but I'm still learning, but I know how to tweak here and there and I chose this color because it really suited the look. But if you want to just know my beginner tips on what I do, I actually use RG magic bullet from red giant universe to achieve this so thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next videos and hope you are able to do this and when you do please if you can tag me on instagram if you can text me then this helps you i would be very grateful to know your feedback to know that i've helped you create something that you thought you couldn't create at this very point it uh, would be very, very uplifting. You chose a college, I chose a vocation, driving 18.